The time now 714. The U.S. sees far fewer flu cases than normal this year. Toro Family Medicine physician Dr. Meredith Maxwell joins us to talk about uh, what exactly is up with that. Good morning, Dr. Maxwell. Good morning. So, so we have beaten the flu into submission, essentially? Well, let's just say it's a lot less than it usually is. <laughs> Typically, we peak between December and February. There's about 45 million cases, 61,000 deaths. But COVID and the wearing of masks and the hand washing has really pushed it down um, this year. However, we, are, we don't track the flu like we do COVID. So it's not as accurate. It's always an estimate. Well, as I think that's, a, that's an interesting point because I, right. I think the, in terms of understanding the numbers, since we're talking about them so regularly, we're not going to catch every case of COVID, but we're trying to catch every case, and you're not really doing that with the flu? Exactly. There's only a few different surveillance systems with, uh, in, in, around the United States, like 100 public health people, some doctor's offices. So it's usually just an estimate. So it's not as... Um, accurate right now because we are trying to track every single COVID case. But the, but and, the point is it seems that uh, wearing of the mask has dampened down the flu um, because perhaps the flu is not as contagious as COVID for example so masking is working against the flu? And that's a really important point. So there's something called a reproductive number so when one person gets the flu about 1.28 other people get the flu because it's not as contagious. But when one person gets the coronavirus, about two to two and a half people get the coronavirus because it hangs out in the air a lot longer than the flu. So uh, it's, it's easily transmittable. Address this for me, if you would, as a health professional, because I'm sure you've heard, I've heard commentators, not doctors, on, on you know, generally on television say, oh, or you'll see it on Facebook, oh no, they're counting everything as COVID and suddenly the flu just disappeared. You've heard that criticism. What, as a health professional, what do you make of that? I think it's just not as much, not as um, in light in the public eye right now. And, um, you know, because coronavirus is new and because it's on the forefront, I think it's getting a lot more attention. And I think that our hand washing and mask wearing has definitely damped the numbers. But those could be falsely lowered because we just don't track it as accurately. The higher reproductive number means it's more challenging to prevent the transmission of the coronavirus. It, is there any kind of a lasting effect here? Um, do you, have we beaten down the flu in some way or or is there an immunity issue where it comes back next year in a, in a, with a sort of a vengeance? How, what, what, what do we look forward to? And that's a great point. So a lot less people are going to have the flu lot this year. A lot less people are going to confer immunity to the flu this year and I'm seeing a lot less people actually get the flu shot this year so it may come back with a vengeance next year where we may not be wearing masks we may not be washing those hands as much and it might be a lot worse next year so I strongly recommend that everybody still get their flu vaccine because of that reason and to protect others around you um, I think that's really important and another thing if you're getting the COVID vaccine be aware that you cannot have any other vaccines within 14 days. So if you're scheduled, be really wary about that timing. Especially with different health care providers doing those, those things. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you very much, Dr. Meredith Maxwell. We appreciate it. Of course.